I'm Dr. Jay Batzner, Professor of Composition and Technology at Central Michigan University. I'm here to help you with some setup tips to make sure that your video can look and sound as good as it can. We want to make sure that the light is in a good place. Right now, the light's in a pretty bad place. I've got nice natural light coming in through this window, but it's coming in behind me. Watch what happens if I do something as simple as turn around. There's color. Now it's still kind of dank back there. And my dog just walked in, but I can fix that by turning on a couple more lights. Now it's starting to look a little bit nicer, a little bit more natural. More light is going to help you with your video. Light is as important to video as silence is to recording sound. So don't be afraid to move some lamps around. Be sure that it is on you. We want to see you. The other thing that's going to help is if you tilt your phone sideways so that the long end is up. That fills up the aspect ratio on the screen better. My last video worked pretty well if I was going to be posting it to Instagram or for social media things. But since we're going to be serving these up via YouTube and watching it on larger screens on the computer, turn your phone sideways and don't fall foul of vertical video. Uh, plus, we'll be able to see more of you that way. This time, I'm using a USB microphone, so I should sound a little bit different. Hopefully I sound a little bit better. If you have one of those, remember that your microphone will need to be closer to you than your camera. And also, it's okay to set it up, try it out, listen back, see if it looks good and sounds good. If you think it looks good and sounds good, chances are we will too. Hi. I'm Dr. Mark Cox, tuba and euphonium professor at Central Michigan University. I'm here today to give you some helpful tips on how to make a better audition video. How should you dress for this video? Look professional. This is part of your interview process. First impressions can make a big difference. How much of you should be in the video? We would like to see from your head to your waist, your hands and your instrument. Try to find an environment where people are not walking around in the background, animals are not walking through your screen, noises from different things are happening. There, there can be obviously a minimal amount, but again, we're trying to focus in on you and we don't want to have our attention drawn somewhere else. In the making of this recording, I've had to start and restart because I've had different instruments playing in the background, birds crowing outside, so yes, plan on when you're making a recording, you may have to do a number of times just because of distractions. Throughout the process, from your very first setup to when you think it's ready to go and be sent in, stop and take a look and make sure things are working well. Make sure that the lighting is good, make sure sound is good, make sure that everything is covered. Too often I see video recordings sent in where people didn't stop and take a look at it at the very end to make sure it was all there. So just take a few extra minutes throughout the process and just keep checking to make sure it's all working well. Can I digitally edit my recording? The basic answer to that is no. We want to hear you as you. Consider this basically a live audition. but. If you needed to walk up and turn on your camera and then walk back and turn off your camera, those kind of things, sure, we don't mind those being edited out. But when you go to do your music, we want to hear you without any alterations. Now you've recorded and you're happy and it's ready to go. Make sure that you follow the correct instructions on how we want the recording sent to us. And if you ever have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to contact us either by email or by phone. Best of luck. Hopefully we will see you at CMU and remember, fire up chips. <laughs>